case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. During the Iraq conflict, defense contractors were accused of fraudulent billing for water purification services provided to the U.S. military. Due to this situation, private parties filed civil lawsuits in the name of the government under the False Claims Act, FCA. However, the FCA had certain restrictions on these lawsuits, including the first-to-file rule and statute of limitations. The case of Kellogg Brown and Root Serves Doll Inc. v. United States XRLL. Carter, heard by the Supreme Court in 2015, questioned whether the Wartime Suspension of Limitations Act applied to civil claims and if the first-to-file rule barred related claims indefinitely. The Supreme Court partially reversed and affirmed the Fourth Circuit's judgment, stating that the Wartime Suspension of Limitations Act only applies to criminal charges, and if someone files a claim, it does not permanently stop others from filing similar claims. Additionally, the court clarified that the first-to-file rule did not require dismissing claims with prejudice, meaning subsequent related actions were not permanently barred if they met the FCA requirements. The case was sent back for further proceedings. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.